Let's talk about Airwolf, a really cool TV series that a lot of people loved back in the day. It was all about amazing flying adventures that kept us hooked every week. Can you remember the first time you watched this awesome show? Or maybe you're curious about some interesting facts that you didn't know before. Well, you're in for a treat because I've got some funny, surprising, and even a bit sad facts to share in this video. Now, I want to hear from you. Share your stories and memories about Airwolf in the comments below. Your experiences make the show even more special and keep its spirit alive. So let's chat and keep the memories of Airwolf going strong. Keep those rotor blades spinning and let's keep those memories soaring high. Air Bisquit, the television series from 1984, has garnered mixed reviews, with some viewers expressing dissatisfaction over its implausible plots and exaggerated portrayal of a high-tech helicopter. Critics have highlighted the helicopter's seemingly supernatural and physics-defying capabilities, raising questions about its ability to outrun jets and execute improbable maneuvers. Some have even suggested that the show ventured too far into the realm of make-believe, pushing the boundaries of credibility. One recurring criticism revolves around the acting, with comparisons drawn to other series like Miami Vice. Ernest Borgnine's performance has been scrutinized, along with Jan Mitchell Vincent's character dynamics. Some viewers find Borgnine's role as Vincent's sidekick less than convincing, equating it to other questionable portrayals in television history. The show's questionable choices and Borgnine's involvement have left viewers puzzled, wondering why such a seasoned actor opted to be part of this production. In terms of production, there are mentions of reused footage, a common practice in television to manage costs. Additionally, the use of post-production animation, particularly the orange highlighted missiles, has been noted. The series delves into borderline sci-fi territory by suggesting that a rotary wing aircraft could achieve speeds near Mach 1, a notion deemed scientifically improbable. However, the show attempts to explain this through the concept of disengaging the rotor to reduce drag, enabling the helicopter to reach higher speeds. While acknowledging the technical inconsistencies, the show's creators lean into the sci-fi element, addressing the aircraft's ability to fly, shoot missiles, and utilize chain guns. Viewers are encouraged to suspend disbelief and accept the show's departure from reality, considering it as a work of fiction within the television medium. In conclusion, Air Bisquit, despite its flaws and departures from realism, offers a blend of action and speculative fiction that may appeal to fans of the genre. The series navigates the challenges of balancing entertainment with scientific accuracy, making it a unique addition to the television landscape. This review aims to provide a more neutral perspective for those unfamiliar with the show, emphasizing its distinctive qualities within the context of 80s television. In G. Gordon Liddy's acting debut, he appeared on the series portraying a character. When the show aired in Germany, the name of the protagonist was altered to Huckleberry Hawk. The character played by Jan Michael Vincent had a missing brother. Interestingly, in another show called Nash Bridges Revelations, Vincent portrayed the missing brother of the main character. This connection adds a layer of continuity between the two series. In Archangel's office, a Commodore 8-bit computer, possibly a VIC-20 or Commodore 64 model, serves as the keyboard. The Bell 222, also seen in Miami Vice, had a memorable moment when Lieutenant Castillo fired an M16 from its door. Interestingly, despite being props, the production had to secure special permission from the FAA for the helicopter to fly with its weapons deployed. It was a unique challenge for the crew, ensuring authenticity while navigating regulatory requirements. In the series, veteran actor Ernest Borgnine took on a different role from his usual villains. Despite his previous portrayals, Borgnine stepped into a new character for this show. After its cancellation, the helicopter featured in the series found a new purpose as an air ambulance in Germany. However, tragedy struck when it crashed during a thunderstorm, resulting in the loss of all three crew members. Following Alex Cord's passing in 2021, only two main female leads, Deborah Pratt and Jean Bruce Scott, remain from the original cast. These actresses continue to carry the legacy of the series. The TV series is notable for its frequent use of Vietnam flashbacks, appearing in almost every episode. It marks the television debut and first acting role of Summer Phoenix. Throughout the series, viewers quickly notice the repetitive use of shots featuring the helicopter, which are recycled extensively. Similarly, enemy aircraft sequences are repurposed from other action films, contributing to a sense of familiarity for those binge watching the show. These elements, while perhaps enhancing certain aspects of the series, also highlight the production's constraints and methods of reusing footage for efficiency. Chad Allen and Shannon Doherty, 
who later played siblings on our house, were also in the series. While filming, Jan Michael Vincent struggled with addiction to alcohol and drugs. This problem affected his last big role and led to the end of his career in the spotlight. Despite his personal issues, Vincent's role as the troubled pilot was loved by audiences worldwide. The series, with its famous helicopter, became very popular, making Vincent well-known in TV history. But as time passed, his personal problems became more obvious, affecting both his health and work. Despite trying to get better, Vincent's struggles became more important than his part in the show. However, Airwolf is still loved by many as a classic, not only for its exciting flying scenes, but also for the great acting by its cast. The show's memory stays strong, showing how much people still enjoy its mix of action and drama. Even though Vincent had a tough time, his influence on TV is unforgettable. In the world of television, a series often faces challenges behind the scenes that can influence its direction. For Jan Michael Vincent, the lead actor in the 1984 TV show, his struggle with alcoholism cast a shadow on his career. During the show, his battle with alcohol began to take a toll, impacting his performances. In subsequent projects, online footage reveals instances where he appeared on set drunk, unaware of the scene, and unable to deliver his lines. Amidst the production challenges, the show featured a noticeable pattern in its chase scenes involving the helicopter. Each pursuit concluded with a predictable outcome. The enemy aircraft met its explosive demise, perfectly synchronized with the reprise of the theme music. This recurring sequence became a defining element of the show, adding a predictable yet thrilling dynamic to the helicopter's aerial pursuits. These off-screen and on-screen dynamics created a unique backdrop for it, contributing to its significance in television history. In a tragic turn of events, a fatal accident occurred during the production of the series, resulting in the loss of Stump and Reed Rondell. He met his untimely demise while performing a dangerous aerial maneuver for the show. His passing cast a somber shadow over the production and serves as a poignant reminder of the risks involved in bringing such thrilling entertainment to life. The TV show follows the adventures of a reclusive pilot and his advanced high-tech helicopter. Initially portrayed by Jan Michael Vincent, the pilot's character, Stringfellow Hawk, is a skilled aviator with a troubled past. He is tasked with piloting the advanced helicopter equipped with cutting-edge weaponry and stealth technology. Hawk's co-pilot and partner, Dominic Santini, played by Ernest Borgnine, provides both comedic relief and invaluable support throughout their missions. Together, they undertake daring missions, often facing formidable foes and navigating moral dilemmas. The show gained a dedicated fan base due to its thrilling aerial stunts, engaging storylines and memorable characters. Despite facing various challenges during its production, including budget constraints and behind-the-scenes conflicts, the TV show made a lasting mark on television history. Despite its relatively short run, it left a lasting impression on television and influenced subsequent action-adventure series. Its impact continues to resonate with fans worldwide as a reminder of the power of compelling storytelling and high-flying adventure. Hidden behind the action-packed episodes of the series lies a somber reality jam Michael Vincent, who played the skilled pilot Stringfellow Hawk, battled with personal demons throughout his time on the show. Despite his charismatic portrayal, Vincent's struggles with substance abuse and legal issues eventually led to his departure from the series, leaving behind a void felt by both cast and fans alike. This unfortunate turn of events serves as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by those in the spotlight, even amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood.